Okay. Oh, oh, I, they, I didn't know they could block, actually. I, I've never had them block. Oh, yeah, I got everything. Okay. All right. The sigil stone is just up there, and this takes us to it. Well, not completely to it. We're on the right path, though. Oh, that's not creepy symbology at all. Oh, hi. Oh, wow, you have a lot of, oh God, hell. Why, why do they always do that? Okay. Oh no. No, 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 no. Do not stun lock me. Okay. Cast the healing spell twice. Lure them over to this corner. There we go. Wow, you're just tall enough to reach past it. Not anymore, though. Never be afraid to launch their launch your enemies into their own death trap. It's a really good way to win. Oh my god, I'm alive. Ah, that did a lot more damage than I thought it would. Ooh, Acrobat's amulet. Uh, Daedric Boots, always worth it. Daedric Greaves, not so much, but my inventory's far <clears throat> from full. Ow. Oh! I forgot those were a thing! Yeah, there are guillotine that will drop from the sky and stab right through you. They will kill you if you are not careful. I've actually had them kill me before. Oh my god, that scared the crap out of me. That's, that scared me into silence. There's not a lot that can do that. You don't see me. You definitely don't see me. Turn around. Aw. Oh. Turn around! No, 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 turn, 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 turn around. Please, turn around. Well, I guess, you know what? I'm, I'm just gonna repair everything. You're, you're just gonna do that. I'm gonna do this. Don't mind me. Oh, thank God. See? Your mistake was turning your back. Towards the door. Not towards your enemy, towards the door. He had no idea I was there. Which is something I am very grateful for. Oh wow, it's, it was so dark I couldn't even see you. So on another spider Daedra. Die. Flawed Topaz, really? Useless. Oh my god. Oh, yes. Your light armor your light armor is like a second skin after all the those days and weeks wearing it. You have learned to move easily with it in combat. As an expert of light armor, your gear no longer encumbers you. If you're wearing the gear, it no longer applies to your overall weight limit. Which is amazing to me. That is a really good stat boost. Oh my god, there's so many of them. This is where a bow or some really good destruction magic would come in handy. Ow. Ah, oh, there we go. Killed one of them. Y 
You just die, thank you. Oh boy. These guys are a challenge. You know what, as they should be. They are, they are Daedra. They're fearsome creatures from the demonic pits of oblivion. Not demons at all, I swear. Okay. Summon my spider. Watch out for the day draw. This, uh, everything in the Oblivion Gate is actually, uh, leveled. So this day draw will not be the same for you guys. It'll probably be maybe a scamp, depending on what your level is. You should not level grind like I have. It makes the game significantly more difficult on you until you get the proper equipment that will scale you. That, that, that uh, proper equipment that will scale you. The proper scaled equipment. Oh, what? Oh no. I did not expect. Okay. Fall back. Summon another spider, Daedra, because that one, yeah, that one kicked Bucket right as I summoned. Ah, no, no, no. Now this is a terrifying combo here. If you can knock him off, it'll do significant enough damage to kill him. There we go. Loot your boots. We have successfully conquered the uh, Oblivion Gate outside of the Cursed Mind. The Cursed Mind. The Cursed Mine. Oh boy. All that's left for us is to take the Sigil Stone and not drop to our death, which is something you can do and something I don't recommend. Why didn't I use my armor? Why, why didn't I use my spell? Oh, that requires a... That's why. Every time I went to try and use it, I just haven't been able to, I guess. Okay. Before we leave this area, I will be putting on guard. After we're out, we will check the sigil stone. What time is it? 3.55 a.m. We have enough time. That was our first oblivion gate. Well, our first unnecessary Oblivion Gate. I like it. I don't like how we got the exact same kind of Soul Stone that we... I mean, not Soul Stone, Sigil Stone that we got before. But, uh, otherwise this was great. Why is that glowing like that? Alright. And we should have just enough time if we get over here quick enough. My acrobatic skill increased. Uh, I'm now a journeyman. After long, arduous hours of practicing jumping and controlling your falls, you have become a journeyman of acrobatics. You now have the dodge ability. While blocking, while blocking, jumping makes you dodge in the direction of the jump. You will do a tumble roll and possibly avoid an attack. It actually looks pretty neat. It's a special animation, isn't it cool? Anyways. Hello? You're supposed to be here. No, really, he is. I know I'm, I know I'm late, but he is supposed to be here by now. Alright, I guess I'll see you guys on the next day at 2 a.m. Yes, you. We need what, to talk. What? Yes, you. We need to talk. Glorthier. 
Why? Okay. We can't talk here. Too public. Meet me behind the great chapel at midnight. Don't let anyone follow you. I'll make it worth your while. Okay. Okay. This is the spot, right? West of town at 2 a.m. There we are. Just in time, mage. We've been waiting for you. I'm afraid I misled you. The Count won't be arriving. In fact, he doesn't even know you're here. We're not about to let the Guild interfere with our plans, for the Count or otherwise. So, you'll have to die. Don't worry. We'll put your body to good use, I assure you. I'm not too fond of that idea. Am I supposed to Are you melee fighting me? Oh my god, that that fire spell. Which one of you cast that? That was awful. Oh Alright. We'll be back. All right, this time I'm ready for you. Just in time. Yeah, yeah. This is the part where you fall down and bleed. Okay. Uh, I don't know who's helping me, but I mean, I appreciate it. You are so tough. Gold. You oh. impossible fool. What possessed you to think I would suggest a meeting here, of all places? At least your gullibility served some useful purpose. I knew about Makeda, but not his friends. Now none of them are a threat any longer. Why was Mercator a threat? Do you not recognize a necromancer when you see one? I suspected Mercator was involved in their cult, but was unwilling to move against him without knowing the identities of his allies. Who are you, even though I see your name in the bottom right? Count Janus Hasseldor at your service. A thank you might be in order at this point. All right, go on. Despite what your council may think, I've not thrown in with the necromancers and would never do so. You may pass along that message. I was here for a book. Is that so? Hmm. Perhaps your council has not been entirely honest with you. Do you really believe they sent you here for a book? No, they sent you here to spy on me. They've heard the same rumors I have about the Necromancer's cult. Okay, go on. Tell your council that the next time they want something from me, they come themselves. They don't send someone under false pretenses. I didn't know. I'm very sorry. Yes, I see that now. I regret that Traven has involved you in this way. At least you've survived. For now. Perhaps in the future you can be trusted enough to deal with more serious matters. Now our business here is concluded. I suggest you return to your council. Our business here is not concluded. Let me buy a house. I've said all there is to be said. Trouble me no more. Well, all right then. That's rude. Uh, but he had dialogue that we would otherwise not see, and I will show you guys that in a minute. And here's the dialogue for, where's my book? Would you dare make demands of me now? And a book of all things. Your gullibility knows no bounds, it would seem. You believe your council would send you here to merely fetch a book? <laughs> no, they wanted information on me and what is going on here. Well, now they shall have it. Go on. Tell your council that the next time they want something from me, they come them. 
And now it's all the same. Perhaps in the future, you now our bi There you go. All his special dialogue and everything. 288 gold. That's a reasonable reward. Where was the third one? A spell to help me see. Oh, right there. Just 16 gold. Alright, but with all that done, let's head back. And hopefully next time we can get the truth out of our guildmates. It's you, the hero of Kavach. This is truly an honor. Yes, thank you, thank you. Hello, journeyman. Okay. I am following the red arrow to a spot I haven't been to before. Look at the muscles on you. Yes, yes. Mage's quarters, upper level. It is a privilege. Hello, Raminus Polis. Have you been to Skingrad and seen Count Hasseldor? Uh, Janus Hasseldor, yes. Uh, let me tell you about him. Saved you, did he? Well, that's a good sign. I must apologize. It was never the Council's intention to put you in harm's way. Uh, why didn't you tell the truth? The Count's unique nature is not public knowledge. The Council wishes to keep it that way. At the time, it was believed that there was no reason to inform you since it was not crucial to the task you were given. For that reason, I was unable to disclose more about his true identity to you. Clearly, that judgment was in error. I apologize. Why was I sent to Skingrad? Archmage Traven feared that sending a high-ranking official with the guild might draw too much attention and provoke a reaction from the Count. We were also concerned that it might drive any necromancers in the area underground, making them more difficult to root out. I see. We simply wanted to survey the situation in Skingrad. Our relationship with Hasseldor is tenuous at best. The Council has agreed to keep his nature a secret, and in exchange, he occasionally provides us with useful information. Why does Hasseldor aid you? As a vampire, the Count has few allies he can trust. He has disguised his nature from most, but cannot hide it from the Council of Mages, so he approached us with an accord. As you have seen, that agreement is under a great deal of strain lately. The Count does not agree with certain policies the Guild has established. You protect vampires? It's not quite that simple. Hasseldor is powerful, to be sure. But the Council does not consider him to be a threat. After all, he has ruled over Skingrad for quite some time, without incident. So you no longer trust him? We feared Hasseldor may have been involved with the necromancers. Thanks to your involvement, it would seem that he is not. At least, not for the moment. We will continue to monitor the situation, but I assure you, we will make no further attempts to mislead you. You have done your job admirably, and I thank you for it. Advancement? Your services to the Guild have not gone unnoticed. As of this moment, you have gained the rank of Evoker. Awesome. Along with your new rank, please take this amulet. May it help keep you safe in times of danger. How much is it worth? All right. Be seeing you. In the next part, we take on our next task for the uh, Arcane University and advance even more. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you like my stuff, like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tell me. It always helps out. It always helps out to hear everything you guys have to say. Even the bad comments. Uh, th so thank you guys for watching yet again.
And uh, if you want to support the channel, Patreon, Coffee, and Twitter are in the description. You can donate to me th via those. Well, Patreon and Coffee. Don't donate to me via Twitter. If someone tries to get you to donate to them via Twitter, they're full of themselves. Cannot do donations via Twitter. Yet. I don't know if they'll do that in the future. Anyways, thank you guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye.